our, our post-race media availability for the Exalta presents the Pocono 400 here in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. And we're joined by today's runner-up driver, Kevin Harvick, of the number four Bush Beer Ford for Stuart Haas Racing. Kevin, wild finish there. Uh, you know, a lot of excitement there in those closing laps. A lot of excitement for you in the course of this race. Would you please walk us through the end of this race from your perspective? Yeah, you know, I, the guys did a great job. Um, really proud of the engine shop. I don't know how the engine didn't blow up with a third to second shift. Um, so obviously the durability is, is good enough in the engines uh, to do that. But, you know, we had a, we had a really fast car. Um, it seemed like the caution came out there at the end of that second stage. And then we got back behind. I think we were 23rd when we restarted and then got back up towards the front and had another caution and got, got almost all the way back to the front. But um, just I, I had a tough time driving in the corner all day. Um, we never could stop like we needed to all weekend. And, you know, so you just had to be really careful with the brakes. If I'd overdrive it for a lap or two, the pedal would start going way down. And, um, you know, then I was then I was really at a deficit. So I had to be very um, aware of, of where I let off every lap. And, and 21, could he could charge the corner a little bit harder than I could. And uh, my best bet, the way I passed people all day, was just waiting for him to, to slip up off the bottom. And he never he never slipped up off the bottom, so just didn't have enough laps to uh, you know to, to finish that last pass off. And, and uh, you know Ryan did a did a good job of, of not slipping a wheel and, and uh, with the amount of laps that he had left and was able to hold on. Okay, we'll open the floor for questions. Please raise your hand. We'll get our wireless mic to you. We'll start with Skip, and we'll go over here. Skip Clayton, WBC. Kevin, uh, is this track maybe the toughest you drive on for brakes and everything? Um, you know, honestly, we we don't use a lot of brake. You know, so. It's 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 funny because you know the teams all hear that and then they come with the smallest brakes that you can you can put on the car, um, every pretty much everybody. So it's a balance between having big enough brakes because they don't want to carry the weight and, and having the stopping power that you need to uh, to get in a corner. So um, you know we'll definitely do something different. Obviously with this aero package, it's it's a lot different uh, with the way that the cars slow down and how much drag they have on the cars. They don't they don't slow down like they used to and they have more speed. Uh, going down the straightaways. Go next to Kyle and then to Zach. Kyle Magda, the Times Leader. Kevin, you did. You talked about the corners and the speed and everything, but where were your strong points today on the track? Trying and also trying to run Ryan down there in the end. Yeah, we ran him down. Um, you know, just never could charge the corner hard enough to get to his bumper. That was that was our only weakness. I mean, we had him had him uh, where we needed had the car where we needed it uh, pretty much in every corner just couldn't charge the, any of the corners like I needed to um, with the stopping power that I, that I had. So just really had to manage that. But everywhere else, I mean, the car handled flawlessly all day and didn't really make any adjustments on it other than, uh, you know, a little bit of air here and there. Zach? Zach Sterniola with the Pokemon record. Kevin, um, obviously you, you want to win it all, all as, as often as you possibly can, but if you can't, come in second to Blaney here, getting his first win. Um, what is how special do you feel like that is for, for him and you you and him battling there at the end, two Fords going head-to-head uh, -head for the win here? Yeah, you know, I, you know, these young guys winning is important for our sport. Obviously, you know, as, as our team, we, we want to win, but um, these young guys have to have to get in, into victory lane to get these fans that, that don't like me and Kyle and, and the rest of the guys, um, you know, that fan base that's that's available and, and new. Um, the younger crowd has to, has to win, and, and today – um, Ryan was, was able to do that, so not only is it good for him, but it's good for the whole sport. Okay. Do we have any questions from the press box? Okay. We'll come back down here to Kyle. Uh, something I wanted to ask both of you guys. Um, what did you think of the broadcast yesterday? Uh, uh, being uh, Kevin, you being up yeah. doing play-by-play, -play, and then Eric, you being up. You know, I've, I've been all but sick all week, worried about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wish everybody knew how hard uh, it is to do Adam's and Mike Joy's job. Uh, I didn't do very well at it, but um, it, it took a while for uh, for me to get used to having people talking in my head uh, while I was talking. So uh, the flow of it was a little bit rough in the, in the beginning, but I felt like as as we got, all got comfortable and, and got going, um, it was fun uh, and it was it's great to step outside the box and, and challenge yourself to to do other things. And, and I thought after the first two segments, it it went really good and. And I think, I think everybody got, got comfortable with it and had a lot of fun. 
Yeah, same thing. I mean, <clears throat> it was tough at first, like Kevin said, just the flow, I think, uh, came down for pit stops first time. And I thought producers were telling me to stand by, and I was just standing there not saying anything, and they were open mic on me. So uh, it just took time, and once we got the, uh, the flow, it's kind of hard to throw it to people and hand it off. So once we got that figured out, it was uh, it was fun. I, I mean, in general, I had a good time doing it. It was something different. Never really done any TV broadcast before, uh, so it was a cool experience. Well, we are now joined here by Eric Jones, broadcaster and driver of the number 77 GameStop Toyota for Furniture Row Racing, who came home a career best third place in today's Exalta Presents the Pocono 400. Eric, just walk through the uh, the race from your perspective and and what it's like to you know to finally reach this pinnacle. Well, you know, it was um, I wasn't really too sure about our car. I thought we were decent in practice. I thought maybe we had a six or seventh place car and. You know, as the day went on, we kind of chose a different strategy than most and really ran long in the first uh, the first segment, just kind of tried to minimize our time on pit road. And, um, you know, it played out really well all day. We needed a lot of green flag runs, and we definitely got that today. We got plenty of green flag runs. So uh, it worked out really good, the late caution. I kind of thought that was going to throw a kink in our day. So I was pretty content with where we were running. So uh, came in, luckily, two tires worked out just fine for us. We were able to get clear up into – into third and, and kind of hang on there for the rest of the race. So, you know, it's kind of, it's great to run there and it feels really good to get a top five. But man, when you're that close and you're seeing them battle for the win and you're right there trying to pounce and make a move, it definitely, uh, definitely makes you eager to go up there and try to get it. So hopefully this is a sign of things to come. Hopefully we can keep running well and, and uh, keep getting in contention for more. Okay, we'll keep going downstairs. We'll go back to uh, Kyle. Didn't mean to jump the gun there, but, um, Eric, Kyle Magda from the Times Leader. Can you just talk about your race today? How much success that you've had here so close to winning and then finally putting together a strong finish today and trying to run those guys down in the final lap? Yeah, it just, you know, it felt really good to put a whole race together. I think this is kind of the first race. I think we probably had a fifth or sixth place car. But this is the first race where we finished better than what our car was all year long. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a relief. It's frustrating when you don't get those – breaks every once in a while and we definitely definitely haven't got any this year so it just feels good to you know run up there and get a good finish you know kind of get some momentum going get everybody's confidence high and you know um, hopefully this is something good to build on for the next really the rest of the year go next to Nate uh, Nate Ryan NBC Sports 2 Pure Eric first uh, lots of guys had uh, break problems today did you uh, have any problems do you have any theory on why some of you guys had problems I didn't um, I started getting a little bit squishy pedal I don't know, maybe right at the beginning of the second segment and um, really kind of tried to nurse them the rest of the day up until about 15 to go. I think uh, it's a lot due to the low downforce. We're just really using a lot of brake. Um, you know, even with the shifting, that helps slow you down, but you're still, there's no blade on the cars to slow them down. So it's just relying all on either the brakes or the drivetrain. So it's, uh, it's just really hard on it. And then secondly, Kevin was talking about how it was good to have Ryan win because it, it means that all the people who don't like him can root for somebody else. D do you feel pressure like that as well now that you, you, you know, you, there's so much talk about Ryan and Chase Elliott and you? Um, w when when, another, when one of those guys wins in your class, does that make you feel like you want to be up where, where Ryan Blaney is today? Well, I think, <clears throat> you know, all three of us wanted to be the first one to do it. And uh, so Ryan took that crown from us. But uh, – you know, hopefully that's um, you know that's great. I mean, it's it's it is great for the sport. Honestly, I was I'm usually not very happy to see other people win, but I was happy to see Ryan win. It was really cool for him, and you know, just really cool to see him get to win. I know how excited he probably is right now, and you know, it really makes um, the other young guys, me, Chase, Daniel, all feel like um, you know we do have a shot to go up and do it. So um, felt feel like we are we took a big leap in that direction of getting closer to being able to do it today. Uh, and I think once you kind of get up there and run run in that position, you know, hopefully it comes a little bit easier as time goes on. Do we have additional questions for Eric Jones? Well, Eric, congratulations on the run today. Good luck next week in your home state of Michigan. All right, thank you.